Okay. So uh, we've got all our signatures sewn in, all the folders done, and now I have taken them and I have gotten them so that they're, let's see if I can, oh, somehow here, there we go, so that they're all even, and even this way, so I'm just getting them all right in the, so now what we're going to do, I've got them in my book press, I don't have them pinched really, really hard, just enough to kind of get these together for my first coating. And I finally got some PVA glue. It was a birthday present, so I was very excited to get that. I still um, use my finger. Uh, a lot of people can't stand to get glue on their finger, but it doesn't bother me. Now what I'm doing is um, this first trip through, I'm not getting a huge amount on any one spot. I just want to get everything uh, with a little glue on it is what I'm dealing with and this way when I have my finger I know that no one spot is getting a ton of stuff but I can feel that I'm doing alright with the coverage so I'm gonna do this let this dry and then we'll come back and do a second coat and this time because I'm not doing any sewing um, the last book I did, I kind of sewed together the, uh, the, the different uh, signatures. This time, we don't want any glue to get on the sides, so you want to make sure you keep the sides uh, clean of glue. But um, since I'm not sewing the signatures together like I did on the last book, I am going to use uh, cheesecloth or ribbon or something like that to help secure this down. Uh, just making sure that I've got glue everywhere. I'm going to... Okay. Again, I'm not looking for a huge amount this time. And I... Yeah, I think we're doing alright. I actually wouldn't mind that being pinched together just a little bit more. So I'm going to hold on to this and loosen up my book press a bit. I'll push this down just a little bit more into the book press and tighten it back up again. And I think that'll give me a little more connection up top here. Okay, yeah, I'm much happier with that. Okay, so we're just going to let this dry and... Okay, I'll be back. So now I have cut a piece of cheesecloth, and it's probably two pieces thick, I guess, two or three pieces thick. But I've cut a piece approximately the size of the book, the space that we've got here. Um, so I'm going to put on another little light coat. This is all dried. The first coat's all dried. I'm just kind of putting a really light coat uh, just to give the me something to stick my... Um, cheesecloth too. Again, remember we don't want anything on the sides. So I'll keep that nice and clean. Oh, just a little, make sure I've got a little bit of glue everywhere. But we're going to be pushing more through the, there we go. There we go. Whoops. Alright, so now I'm going to take this and I'm going to Make sure that I'm pushing all of these threads. We'll trim off the uh, threads that don't stick after a while. So now I'm going to be putting a good amount of glue on here. And again, whatever doesn't uh, really get hooked into the book will all get trimmed off later on. But I do want to make sure that I'm getting glue through all of the cheesecloth and onto um, the book. The spine, if you will. Okay, so we're just going to keep working it. This gets pretty gooey. 
but hey you know if you don't like getting your fingers dirty it would it's hard crafting that way but there are people that can go through and not get their fingers dirty or sticky or gummy no, I'm not one of those peeps but anyway okay almost done here you get the idea you just uh, really getting a good amount of glue through the cheesecloth which is just um, going to add enhance the strength that we're looking for and this PVA glue is fabulous stuff and it dries pretty quickly and it's um, it dries clear uh, and it's also going to be um, pliable so that's always really nice with the books because you want it to be strong but pliable so now you're just going to kind of go through and make sure that we've got uh, enough glue which I think I've put plenty uh, all the way through and we've got cheesecloth everywhere so that when, when this all dries, we'll come back and we'll just trim all of the excess off and we'll be ready for the next step. Okay, guys? See you in a little while. Let your stuff dry.